In this video we will learn what is business economics, we will define economics, we will learn about the characteristics of business economics, scope of business economics, we will discuss about importance of business economics, and finally discuss the difference between economics and business economics, so, make sure to watch the full lecture to generate a more clear concept on these topics. Let's start by discussing what is business economics. Business economics is the integration of economic theory with business practice for the purpose of facilitating decision making and forward planning by management. Business economics, also referred to as managerial economics, generally refers to the integration of economic theory with business practice. While the theories of economics provide the tools, which explain various concepts such as demand, supply, costs, price, competition etc., business economics supplies these tools in the process of business decision making. Business economics is playing an important role in our daily economic life and business practices. Organizations face many problems on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, organizations are always concerned with producing maximum output in the most economical way. To solve problems of such nature, Managers are required to apply various economic concepts and theories. The application of economic concepts, theories, and tools in business decision-making is called business economics or managerial economics. Now let's look into business economics definition. Definition of economics by different economists have a different point of view, but the essence is the same. The following are some popular definition of business economics. According to Mansfield, managerial economics is concerned with the application of economic concepts and economics to the problems of formulating rational decision making. According to Douglas, managerial economics is concerned with the application of economic principles and methodologies to the decision making process within the firm or organization. It seeks to establish rules and principles to facilitate the attainment of the desired economic goals of management. According to Davis and Chang, managerial economics applies the principles and methods of economics to analyze problems faced by the management of a business, or other types of organizations and to help find solutions that advance the best interests of such organization. From the above mentioned business economics definitions, it can be concluded that business economics is a link between two disciplines, which are management and economics. The management discipline focuses on a number of principles that aid the decision-making process of organizations. On the other hand, economics is related to the optimum allocation of limited resources for attaining the set objectives of organizations. Let's move to the next topic where we will be discussing about the characteristics of business economics. To point out, the characteristics of business economics are, microeconomics, normative science, pragmatic, prescriptive, macroeconomics, and management-oriented. Number 1, Microeconomics, Business Economics is microeconomic in character. This is so because it studies the problems of an individual business unit. It does not study the problems of the entire economy. Number 2, Normative Science, Managerial Economics is a normative science. It is concerned with what management should do under particular circumstances. It determines the goals of the enterprise. Then it develops the ways to achieve these goals. Number 3. Pragmatic, Business Economics is pragmatic. It concentrates on making economic theory more application-oriented. It tries to solve the managerial problems in their day-to-day -day functioning. Number 4. Prescriptive, Managerial Economics is prescriptive rather than descriptive. It prescribes solutions to various business problems. Number 5. Macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is also useful to business economics. Macroeconomics provides an intelligent understanding of the environment in which the business operates. And finally number 6. Management-oriented. The main aim of managerial economics is to help the management in taking correct decisions and preparing plans and policies for the future. Now, let's discuss the scope of business economics. The scope of business economics is quite wide. Business economics involves the application of various economic tools, theories, and methodologies for analyzing solving different business problems. There are two categories of business issues to which economic theories can be directly applied, namely. Number 1, 
microeconomics applied to internal or operational issues. And number two, macroeconomics applied to external or environmental issues. Therefore, the scope of business economics may be discussed under these two headers. Let's start with the scope of microeconomics first. Operational issues include all those issues that rise within the organization and fall within the purview and control of the management. The following microeconomic theories deal with most of these issues. Demand analysis and forecasting. Demand analysis is a process of identifying potential consumers, the amount of goods they want to purchase, and the price they are willing to pay for it. This process is important for an organization to analyze the demand for its products, and to produce accordingly and helping organizations in business planning and deciding on strategic issues. Cost and Benefit Analysis In short CBA, by analyzing costs, management can estimate costs required for running the organization successfully. Cost analysis helps firms in determining hidden and uncontrollable costs and taking measures for effective cost control. Also, help in determine the return on investment. Pricing decisions, policies, and practices. Pricing is one of the key areas of business economics. It is a process of finding the value of a product or service that an organization receives in exchange for its product or service. The profit of an organization depends a great deal on its pricing strategies and policies. Business economics includes various pricing related concepts, such as pricing methods product line pricing, and price forecasting. Profit maximization, profit generation and maximization is the main aim of every organization, except for non-profit organizations. In order to maximize profit, organizations need to have complete knowledge about various economic concepts, such as profit policies and techniques, and break-even analysis. Capital management. Organizations often find it difficult to make decisions related to capital investment. These decisions require sound knowledge and expertise in various economic aspects. To make sound capital investment decisions, an organization needs to determine various aspects, such as the cost of capital and rate of return. Risk and uncertainty analysis. Business risk management system generally operate under conditions of risk and uncertainty. Analysis of risks and uncertainties helps the business firm in arriving at efficient decisions and in formulating plans on the basis of past data, current information and future prediction. Now, after knowing the scopes of microeconomics, let's focus on the scope of macroeconomics. Environmental factors have significant influence upon the functioning and performance of the business. The major scope of macroeconomics factors relate to the type of economic system stage of business cycle is the general trends in national income, employment, prices, saving and investment. Government's economic policies like industrial policy, competition policy, monetary and fiscal policy, price policy, foreign trade policy and globalization policies. Working of financial sector and capital market. Socio-economic organizations like trade unions, producer and consumer unions and cooperatives. Social and political environment, business decisions cannot be taken without considering these present and future environmental factors. Business decisions cannot be taken without considering these present and future environmental factors. As the management of the firm has no control over these factors, it should niche in its policies to minimize their adverse effects. Now, let's move on to the next topic and discuss the importance of business economics. Business economics plays an important role in decision-making in an organization. Decision-making is a process of selecting the best course of action from the available alternatives. Role and responsibilities of managerial economics are explained below. The following points explain the importance of business economics. Number 1. Identifying, analyzing problems and finding solutions. Number 2. Identify, analyze various internal and external business factors. Number 3. Framing various policies. Number 4. Predict the future. And number 5. Establishing relationships between different economic factors. Business economics covers various important concepts, such as demand and supply analysis short-run cost and long-run costs, 
and law of diminishing marginal utility. These concepts support managers in identifying and analyzing problems and finding solutions. It helps managers to identify and analyze various internal and external business factors and their impact on the functioning of the organization. Business economics helps managers in framing various policies, such as pricing policies and cost policies, on the basis of economic study and findings. By studying various economic variables, such as cost production and business capital, organizations can predict the future. Business economics helps in establishing relationships between different economic factors, such as income, profits, losses, and market structure. This helps in guiding managers in effective decision-making and running the organization. So, finally let's learn the difference between economics and business economics. Difference number 1, economics is a traditional subject that has prevailed from a long time, whereas, business economics is a modern concept and is still developing. Difference number 2, economics mainly covers theoretical aspects, whereas, business economics covers practical aspects. Difference number 3, in economics, the problems of individuals and societies are studied, whereas, in business economics, the main area of study is the problems of organizations. Difference number 4, in economics, only economic factors are considered, whereas, in business economic, both economic and no economic factors are considered. Difference number 5, both microeconomics and macroeconomics fall under the scope of economics, whereas, only microeconomics falls under the scope of business economics. And, difference number 6, Economics has a wider scope and covers the economic issues of nations, whereas, business economics is a part of economics and is limited to the economic problems of organizations. So, we have learnt what is business economics, we defined economics, we learnt about the characteristics of business economics, scope of business economics, we discussed about importance of business economics, and finally discussed the difference between economics and business economics. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.